Hey, I'm here with uh, Reed Ligon from uh, Clear Practice, and uh, he's going to give us a, a quick demo of um, Nimble, uh, which is the iPad app for their um, mostly web-based EMR. Are the uh, screens going to be different for the different practitioners, or is everybody has the same UI? Um, everybody's got the same UI. And this is more of a uh, intake screen. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this toward me just a little ahead. bit. That yeah. way the system's more responsive when you're uh, actually turning it toward yourself. So I can put in the uh, we're going to take a look at charts. So if I do a search real quick, mm -hmm. type in the first few letters of the patient's name, in and search. You can pull up a real quick demographic information on a patient, and if I want to see their full chart, I just select patient chart from the menu. I said those popover menus really are cleaning up the user interface. Yeah. I, I, it's amazing just how much it's easier to do work on this just by looking at you than all the click-through mm -hmm. buttons I've seen on the, on the other systems. And then I can scroll through the chart, but I also chart summary, but also can you know drill into the vitals or diagnostics or uh, referral information, calls the patients made to the practice, any images we might store, and also uh, uh, any graphs that we're keeping on BMI or, you know, blood pressure. Or so stuff uh, like that. telephone messages meaning that that's, that's usually from the front desk. Right. Now, how are there, are there um, uh, items in here where it can prompt you to do certain tasks? Like, doctor, don't forget to do this, or, you know, nurse, Absolutely. don't forget to do that. Absolutely. Well, one of the things I, I didn't show on the patient I had is, is we have uh, health maintenance reminders mm -hmm. for patients. Mm -hmm. But as far as doctors go or clinicians or other staff members, we have a messaging engine. Mm. So you can auto-generate messages based on what a physician does to appear in their, appear in their message queue. To for the physician. Them, right. And, to remind and, them and that message, I assume, things. could be associated to a patient or, or not. I mean, it could or could okay. not. Okay, Absolutely. So kind of a link. Can you show us one, for example? Well, here's one. This is this is just a message that came in from our patient portal. Yeah. And it's a patient requesting a re prescription renewal. Let's see what else I have. So you just said patient portal. So there's a patient portal also that's right. associated with this. Patient portal is part of our offering. Is that included? Yes, for, okay. for our four ninety nine a month price, we offer EMR, e-prescribing, practice management, billing and scheduling, yeah. patient portal, and the iPad app. And the, and the patient portal is a web-based thing, so they don't need to download anything or have an iPad. Right, they just go to Internet Explorer and yeah. go to the site, and we send them a link when they sign up. When they sign up, okay. So, so Yeah, so, I think so all these are prescription renewals. I don't from, have anything from exciting. But you could presumably put a message in here for your nurse and vice versa? Right, so there's an inter-office messaging system. Yeah that you know you can message other staff instead members. of sending everybody emails you just Absolutely. sort of do it inside the app itself and just probably get the work done faster mm -hmm. great so thank you the response has been overwhelming so what you're looking at here is our desktop and there's a series of modules here and you can just touch and hold any of these and move them around and arrange your desktop however you want that's a great but idea the system is basically pulling information forward to you so that you intelligently know what you need to be working on um, so, for so, wait, instance, so those those boxes could move around on their own, also. No, no, you move them around and align them how you want them. Okay. So you're setting up your desktop, much like a Google homepage, mm -hmm. where you're setting up the desktop to view it just like you want. And what you do frequently. Right. Yeah. So I can do things from here, like pull up a progress note and review it, and basically uh, zoom in if the information's too small. So I can zoom in. That's great. So it pinches navigate in with like my finger. standard UI. Right. And then once I'm done reviewing this, if I want to sign off on this note, I just touch a button and I sign off. <laughs> if the button works. Yeah. Um, so uh, and I don't have to go back to the home screen. I can if I want with this button right here. Mm -hmm. Or I can just go to this button right here. And sorry, if sometimes this thing, if, unless you're... Uh, Right in front of it, it touches yeah. easier. Well, you get used to it. Yeah. Right. So I can look at my appointments. So that's kind of like a quick menu of, of kind of right. things Right. This do. is everything that's on your desktop in I this see. menu here. So you don't have to go back to the yeah. desktop and then to that icon. Which is kind of a, a standard iPad uh, thing to have these pull, these popover menus, which uh, you know makes your window less, less cluttered. Absolutely. Yeah. So once I uh, am taking a look at my patients, I can see what their status is, whether they've been... Uh, seen already, whether they're waiting to be seen, that sort of thing. So this is an example of one day's appointments? Right. These are appointments I've done today, <laughs> demo for people. And so uh, I can see who's not checked in. If I want to check a patient in, I just touch their name real quickly. 
and it'll say, do you want to auto check this patient in? I say, okay. So normally this would be done by the staff as they're sort of right. taking the patient back? Right. So, uh, you know, the front office.